Mira si hay una gorra por ahí, ¿verdad? me la presta. ¿Mm? Okay, hello guys, good evening. Welcome once again to the class. Everyone, welcome. So it's really nice to know that you're here once again. Thank you so much for being always on time. And uh, wow, it's really nice to start to learn something new. So every day, it's something new that we learn. I mean, it, in English or even in Spanish, we have like every day, we learn uh, like different things. So guys, um, yesterday we saw like, it was like a lot of information, but we saw about information about possessive pronouns and the weather. So before I start today's class, I am going to try to ask you some questions regarding to the topic that we saw yesterday, okay? So I'm going to ask you some questions about what we saw yesterday. And um, with that, I will just like to check like if you know, or if you paid attention to the class and things like that. So um, before we start, I would like to know, what do you remember about possessive pronoun? First of all, what is a possessive pronoun? What is a possessive pronoun? Can someone tell me? Mine, his, hers, hers. Uh -huh. ours, mm -hmm. yours. Okay, and what is that? Why do we use a possessive pronoun? Why? What is the reason why we use a possessive pronoun? What is the reason? Everyone, this question is in, in general. Do you have any idea? No? Well, perdón, repita la pregunta. Do you have any idea or do you remember what is the reason we use a possessive pronoun? Why? Ah, es para no repetir eh, la misma palabra un, dos o varias veces. Exactly. We use it to avoid repetition. Very good. What else do you remember? For example, if I say, let me see. If I say, um, it's my cat, what will be the possessive pronoun for that? It's my cat. My. I'm sorry, say it again. It's my. my. It's mine, Jess, it's mm -hmm. mine. Very nice. All right, so, um, is there, is there any difference uh, with the possessive adjective and possessive pronoun? I mean, do we, do we have the same ones? Tenemos todos los possessive pronouns? Todos? Or is there any of them that we do not use? So hay alguno que no utilicemos. Do you remember that? It. It's. It. Perfect. That's the one we do not use with the possessive pronoun. But let me ask you another question. Do we use it's in the possessive adjectives? Yes or no? 
Cheers. Excellent. Very good. So um, I think that with the possessive pronouns, probably we did not have too many questions. But let me try to verify about the weather. What it means if I say cloud, cloud, what is that? Cloud. Uh -huh. What does cloud mean? The significa cloud. Payaso? Mm, no, payaso is clown. Mm -hmm. It's nuboso. Uh, are you sure the cloud is nuboso? Nube. Nube. How do we say nuboso then? Cloudy. Cloudy, okay? Cloudy. So let's be careful. Si, sí, cuidado. Cloud is nube. Cloudy, nuboso. Okay. What about... Uh, let me see. Rain. What's the meaning of rain? Lluvia. Lluvia. What about if I say uh, it's raining? What am Está I saying? Lloviendo. Excellent. What's the meaning of hurricane? Huracán. Hurricane. Yes. What's the meaning of uh, freezing? Frío. Frío. Congelado. Congelado, exactly. Freezing, congelado. So. All right. So I think that, um, well, let me ask you some other question. What are the seasons of the year? Summer. Summer. Spring. Spring. Fall. Fall. And winter. Winter. Is there another way that we can call? Is there another way to say fall? Autumn. 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 Yes. All right. So um, I consider that, well, we have like, we paid attention to that. So today, guys, we are going to go or we are going to see a new topic. And today we're going to learn how to use the present continuous. Okay. So today we're going to learn that. I'm pretty sure that probably some of you uh, know a little bit about it. And, uh, but we are going to do like, to specify the rules so you can get to know pretty much everything. So um, let me ask you a question. Are you all understanding what I'm saying? Are you all understanding? Yes. All right, that's one. He said, yes. What about the other ones? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Or do you understand what I say? Okay, Maricela said yes. Elizabeth said yes, I guess. What about- Yes, teacher. All right, Luis as well. Because I remember, recuerdo que les dije, if you do not understand, si no están entendiendo, please tell me, okay? Because I'm trying to like, to speak more English and not like, not translating that. So you can like, like get used to that, all right? So that's why I'm trying to speak like slow, so you can understand what I'm saying, okay? But if there's any question or something that you do not understand while I'm, um, I'm talking, let me know so I can explain you, okay? So as I said, today we are going to have, or we are going to see uh, the present continuous. 
And that is something that I remember that Luis said yesterday, that it was with the ING, okay? So today we're going to learn that. As you can see, today is our 13th class. So we just have three more classes and that will be it, okay? So it means that we finish the module on Tuesday, the 30th. Okay, so it means next week on Tuesday is going to be our last class, okay? So let's start with today's class. Just let me try to, all right, cool. So first of all, we are going to, to start like with the use and a little bit of uh, like a little explanation about how we use like the present continuous. So I would like any volunteer to help me reading this part. Yes. Okay, who said it? No. Nivia, was that you? Okay. All right, go ahead. You say, we, we use the present continuous to tell about uh, action happening now at the moment. All right, so as it says over there, we use the present continuous to talk about actions happening. It means something that you are doing right now, ¿sí? Algo que ustedes están haciendo en el momento y que está pasando en el momento, okay? That's why we call it continuous because it's an action that you're doing at the moment, all right? So let's verify, let's see an example so we can start like understanding. Here we have an example. It says, Alice is riding her bike. Alicia está conduciendo o montando su bicicleta, see? ¿sí? But she's doing it at this moment. Ella lo está haciendo en el momento. So is there, ahí es cuando utilizamos, when we use the present continuous. Okay, so let's move on. And today we are just going to verify how to, uh, how to form sentences in a positive and in, in a negative way. Tomorrow we are going to go with the questions. So to start with that, how do we make or do we create uh, sentences in positive? Very easy. First of all, we have the subject, el sujeto, plus the verb be, el verbo to be, que una, una vez más nos anda siguiendo, plus the main verb, y al verbo principal le vamos a agregar ing, ing. All right, so I have an example right here. It says, Mark and his brother are playing football. What do you understand, guys, by this sentence? Uh huh. Mark. What do you understand? Uh, the que Mark y su hermano están jugando soccer o yeah, fútbol. Yeah. It says, si se fijan, es una acción. Es decir, cuando yo utilizo o pongo el verbo principal, porque en este caso el verbo to be no está actuando como un verbo principal. Es an auxiliary. Sí, un auxiliar. Sí, un auxiliar Que va, a pon, que va a ayudar a que la oración tenga sentido. That makes sense, ¿sí? Cuando yo le pongo al verbo ing al final, me da la terminación ando yendo. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Yo puedo decir jugando, comiendo, bailando, saltando, uh, tomando, things like that. Esa es la terminación that we are going to have in Spanish. So, as Juan Fernando said, in this example, it says, Mark, Mark y su hermano 
Están jugando football. All right. This is the way that we are going to create positive sentences. Once again, remember, subject. ¿Cuál es el subject en esta oración? What is the subject here? Mark, Mark and, and his, his brother. brother. Mark and his brother. Y si yo quiero reemplazar Mark and his brother por un personal pronoun, ¿cuál sería? They. Which one? They. They, 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 they are. Uh -huh. They are. Excellent. They, they are. Uh -huh. they are. So yeah. in, instead of, en vez de decir Mark and his brother, I could say they are playing football, okay? That will be understandable as well. So is there any question for the other ones? No? no. Are you understanding, guys? Los demás, are you understanding? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, all right. So I, I think that everyone is understanding. So let's move on. Here we have the negative form, okay? As you can see, we have the two ways. Tenemos ambos aquí. It shows us the affirmative and it shows us the negative as well. As we can see over here, Podemos tener las contracciones también. So, I can say, I am reading, estoy leyendo, or I can say, I'm, I'm reading. I can say, you are cooking, or I can say, you're cooking. I can say, he is dancing, or she is dancing, or I can say, he's dancing, she's dancing. I can say, we are singing, or I can say, we're singing. You're singing, they're singing, all right? Both of them are correct. So you decide, you decide if you want to use the contraction or if you want to say it complete. That's your decision, okay? So what happened with the negatives? In the negatives, as you can see, after, después del verbo to be, we are going to add, vamos a agregar, the word not, la palabra not, okay? So I can say, I am not reading, o puedo contractar, I'm not reading. So you can say, you are not reading, or usted fácilmente puede contractar el verbo to be con la palabra not y, de, y decir, you aren't cooking. Yes? So I can say, he isn't dancing. She isn't singing. It isn't dancing. We aren't reading. You aren't cooking. They aren't dancing. Are we understanding, guys? Yes. All right. So if yes, that teacher. Is, that is suggest. Yes, yes. Let me see. Um, Carla Flores, can you please read like all of them? Todas, like I am reading, you are, and something like that. Okay. I am I reading. I am, am. I am, am reading. No, just I am. I am. Yes. Reading. Okay. You are reading. Okay. She is re reading. Yes. She, he is reading. Yes. It is um, reading. Mm -hmm. We are reading. Mm -hmm. You are uh, reading. They are reading. Thank you so much. Very good. Catherine Reyes. Now, I want you to do the same thing, but now with the contractions. Okay? Saying the contractions. Sí, lo contractado. Go ahead. I'm reading 
Yes. You're reading. He, okay. He's reading. Yes. She's reading. It's reading. We're, we're reading. Yes. You're reading. Mm -hmm. They're reading. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. Uh, Maricela, you are going to help me now with the negatives. But first, la forma completa, okay? Mm, I am not reading. Mm -hmm. You are not reading. Mm -hmm. He is not reading. Mm -hmm. She is not reading. He is not reading. We are not uh, reading. You are not reading. They are not reading. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, Omar, you will help me with the contractions. Well, I think Omar is not there. So Elizabeth, can you help me with the contractions, please? The negative, right? Yes, negative contractions. I'm, I'm not reading. Mm -hmm. uh, you, are, you aren't reading. Mm -hmm. He isn't reading. Yes. She is reading. Mm -hmm. It, it, uh, it isn't reading. Mm -hmm. Yes. We aren't reading. You mm -hmm. aren't reading. They aren't reading. Okay, very nice. Is there any questions so far, guys, with the information that we just saw? No, teacher. All right. If there's no questions, let's move on. Now we are going to go to the rules. So I need you to pay attention in this part, guys, because if you do not pay attention, you might get lost because there are some rules that you need to follow in order to make the verb or to put the verb in gerund. So we're going to start with that. The rule number one or the basic rule, it says that the majority or to the majority of the verbs, a la mayoría de los verbos, we add only ing, y a la mayoría de verbos solo le agregamos ing to make it um, a gerund, right? Example, if I have the verb work, si tengo el verbo work, solo le agrego ing, and that's a gerund, ¿sí? Ya lo convierto en gerundio. Play, playing. Assist, assistant. See, seen. Be, been. All right? Those are some examples, or actually that's the very first rule. So that's very simple. Let's move on to rule or to the exceptions. What happens with these exceptions? ¿Qué pasa con estas excepciones? If the verb, si el verbo termina en el siguiente patrón, consonante, vocal, consonante, if it says a uh, consonant, vowel, consonant, we have to double the last consonant and add ing. ¿Sí? Lo que vamos a hacer es duplicar la última consonante y agregarle ing. That's the rule. We have some examples. We have the verb stop. Do you know what stop means? What's the meaning of stop? Detenerse. Detenerse. As you can see, si se pueden fijar, este verbo stop sigue el patrón. ¿Cuál es el patrón? Consonante, vocal, consonante. So what do we do? Fácil. Solo duplicamos la última consonante. And after that, 
we add ing. So when we change it, it's, it will be stopping. Okay. Now we have another verb. The next verb is run. El verbo correr. Run. Okay. And that verb también sigue la misma formula. Ba uh, consonant, vowel, consonant. So what do we do? We double the last consonant and we add ing. And we said run, running. Run. We have the next verb, begin. Do you know what begin means? Empezar. Empezar. Mm -hmm. All right. So, this one también sigue el patrón. ¿Por qué? Porque las últimas tres siguen el patrón. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So, what do we do? ¿Qué hacemos de nuevo? Double the last consonant. Duplicar la última consonante. And we say begin, beginning. Begin. begin beginning so stop stopping run running begin beginning there's another exception hay otra excepción that we have right here que tenemos aquí el verbo open what's the meaning of the verb open abrir abrir all right if you can notice si se pueden fijar Cualquiera podría decir, hey, teacher. Pero aquí sigue la regla, right? Consonant, vowel, consonant. ¿Sí? ¿Qué podríamos hacer siguiendo la regla? Ok, duplicamos la última. But, esta es una excepción. Why? ¿Por qué es una excepción? Porque el estrés, es decir, el sonido más fuerte, no se hace en la vocal E, sino que lo hacemos en la vocal O. So we say open, open, ¿sí? Es por eso que con este verbo, we do not double, no le agregamos, la, no le agregamos otra, no duplicamos la última letra, all right? So let's remember this verb, okay? Because um, probably, algunos de ustedes probablemente cuando vean, oh, okay, sí sigue la regla, okay, le voy a agregar la última. No, remember that this is an exception. That's why you cannot double the last consonant, okay? So with that being said, is there any questions so far or so far so good? Um, I have a question. Yes. Eh, lo mismo ocurre cuando decimos nadando, que si es, es swing. swing. And, yeah, excellent. Let me write it down. Let me write it down here. We have um, the verb swim that's the verb right we have there as you can notice se pueden fijar las últimas tres siguen el patrón we have consonant vowel consonant so what do we do we modificamos agregamos otra m y luego ing ing so we say swimming that's a very nice uh, very good question um Nidia. But that happens, okay? So now you know that, see? Ya saben cómo se va a hacer uh, when, you got, when you have a gerund, okay? So you have gotta be, uh, you have to pay attention to the verb so you can know, okay, let's verify para verificar si sigue la regla or not, okay? So is there any other question? I have a question, teacher. Yes. Eh, así como esa excepción con el verbo abrir, eh, habrá algo otros verbos también que se incluyen en excepción. O solo mm. es el verbo open. Mm. Honestly, there's like five. Son como en general five of them, como cinco. But the other ones, los demás no son comunes de utilizar en el lenguaje. That's why... Um, we do not add it here. Es por eso que no lo agregamos acá. It's important that you know them. Es importante conocerlos. But now we are just checking the general information. In module number two or number three, 
we are going to see once again, vamos a volver eh, a verificar esto ya con todos los verbos, ok? But for the moment, this is just general or basic information for you to get used to the topic, ok? So okay, any, thank you. Any other question? No questions? Ok, let's move no on. Question. Oh, go ahead, sir. Ah, solo una pregunta. Sé, sé que en internet eh, hay un, como un listado de verbos. O sea, creo que eso no, bueno, les ayudaría y no, me ayudaría a mí en lo personal. Uh -huh. eh, como para que ellos puedan como saber cuáles son los verbos y cómo se conjugarían. No sé si tendrían un listado por el estilo. Oh, you're, you're asking me if I have a list or you're saying that you already have a list? No, y... Si podría compartirnos una lista. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. So if you want to, I can do that for you. Yes, no problem. But please remind me, ¿sí? Acuérdenme porque, ¿verdad? I have a lot of things to do. Y ya ven que ni las presentaciones le mando después, ¿verdad? So please try to remember, remind me, okay? Teacher, the list, okay? Please. Okay, that will be your homework. Reminding me, okay? So, okay. Uh, um, let's move on. We have another rule. This rule, guys, aplica para los verbos que terminan en I E, like I E. All right. So it says that if the base verb ends in I E, we change the letters I E for a letter Y, and then we add ing, ¿sí? Si se fijan, le quitamos la ie, ie, and then, por la letra, what's, what's this letter? Y, ¿sí? Y luego, agregamos ing. All right, this one is not complicated. These verbs, de estos verbos, solo hay like five or seven. Solo son como... Cinco, siete, something like that. So it's not difficult to notice that. But now that you know the rule, ahora que ya saben la regla, you are going to see, okay, when you see a verb, cuando vean un verbo que termine en IE, now you're going to know, okay, now, si lo quiero poner en gerundio, I, I am going to change that for a letter Y, and then I'm going to add ING. Now, you are going to know already that, okay? So uh, let's move to another rule that is kind of similar, but it's easier. Es más fácil. Why? When we have a verb, cuando tenemos un verbo que termina in um, like vowel que tiene el siguiente patrón, vocal, consonante vocal, Es decir, que si termina en la letra E la mayoría de veces, we just erase, solo quitamos, solo borramos the letter E, and we add ING, ¿sí? Y le agregamos ING. So we have come, coming, mistake, mistaking, all right? We have here the verb lie, lying, die, dying, all right? Do you know the meaning of these verbs? Do you know what's the meaning of the verb lie? Mentir. 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 What's the meaning of the verb die? Morir. Morir. What's the meaning of the verb come? Regresar. Regresar o venir. What's the meaning of the verb mistake? Error. Error o equivocarse. Okay. All right. Is there any questions so far? So far, so good. Por ahorita todo bien? Yes. All right. So um, those are pretty much the rules, guys. Estas son generalmente la mayoría de rules that we have. So it's not that much, but it's very important that you know all of them. So um, here, we have some time expressions. Tenemos expresiones de tiempo that we can use, que podemos utilizar when we are using the present continuous. 
cuando, util, cuando estamos utilizando el presente continuo, podemos utilizar time expressions únicamente con el propósito de dar un, uh, una especificación, aunque ya se sabe que es una acción que está pasando, pero es como para especificar doblemente en qué preciso momento. Example, we have the time expression now, que significa ahora, at the moment, en el momento, at present, en el presente, today, hoy, nowadays, hoy en día, and this week. All right, those are some examples of time expressions. Obviously, we have like, tenemos más, because uh, we can say this week, this day, this month, this year. Yes, we can use all of them, but these ones are just some examples of them. So uh, we also have an example right here using a time expression. And the example is this one right here. It says, they are throwing no balls now. Do you understand the meaning of that sentence? Ellos están tirando bolas de nieve ahora. Tirando bolas de nieve o lanzando bolas de nieve ahora. All right. As I told you, the time expressions are only to specify the exact moment you're talking about, even though, aunque you already know that if you are using the present continuous, it's obviously an action that is happening at the moment. But the time expression is, what the time expression is going to do is just give you like more detailed information about the sentence you're saying, okay? So with that being said, according to what we just saw, is there any question in general? Alguien que no haya entendido algo, so I can explain it, or I can try to tell you or something, or is it clear as the water? Claro como el agua? O estamos ahí como medias horchatas todavía? Mm -hmm. No? No questions? Como el café quizá, no como el horchata. <laughs> oh my God, so we're <laughs> lost. So no questions. No, teacher. Yes. Uh, can repeat uh, para que se usan las expresiones. No, 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 no oí muy bien. Oh, oh sure, no problem. Yes, please. Time expressions, las expresiones de tiempo, únicamente se utilizan para especificar. Y aunque ya sabemos que el presente continuo es algo que está pasando en el momento, Sí. Oh my God. I think that we're you listening. To um. Well. Okay. So. Um. So as I was saying, uh, es para especificar. It means significa que aunque ya sabemos que el present continuous es algo que está sucediendo, una acción continua. Time expressions, las expresiones de tiempo únicamente eh, va a ser para decirte, ok, la está haciendo la acción continua, pero en un momento específico. So that's why we use them to specify an exact time or period of time. All right. So if there's no question, guys, si no hay ninguna pregunta, let me see. I am going to ask you questions. Yo les voy a preguntar ahorita, okay? Okay. So, let me see. Now that you say it okay, Juan Fernando, um, let me ask you, uh, what, in your own words, what do you understand the present continuous is for you, in your own words? Okay, uh, present continue is an action that's happening in the moment. All right, 
Very nice. Let me see, Elizabeth. Porque yo... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> eh, <laughs> es una señal del destino, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right. So, Elizabeth, what is the rule number one? What's the rule number one? What do you remember about that rule? Um, que al verbo se le agrega ing. Este, okay. Es que anote, pero no, no, este, ¿cómo se llama? Me quito la imagen rapidito, no lo anoté bien. All right, but, but you got the idea. All right. Eh, dice que este, al verbo se le agrega el ing. Este, cuando la base del verbo, eh, el, lo que no pude seguir escribiendo lo que decía de, de la base del verbo en la regla 1. Solamente alcancé a ver que se le, se le ponía este, el ing al terminar la, la, la palabra este, con las excepciones que usted dio después. Of course, yes. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Maricela, what do you remember or what happened if I have a verb that ends in consonant, vowel, consonant? What do I do? Maricela, are you there? Well, I think she's not there. What about you, Teresita? Ok, eh, cuando la palabra termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, se le duplica la consonante nuevamente y se le agrega el ing. All right, is there any other exception in that rule? Open. Open. What happened with that verb? ¿Qué ¿Cómo? pasa? What happened with that verb? Um, en ese caso, no se duplica la última letra. Excellent. La We do not double. Why? Porque lleva la, la primera vocal como la fuerza de voz. Exactly. Because the stress of the voice is in the first vowel. That's very good. Okay. What happened? Let me see, Catherine. What happened when I have a verb that ends in the letters? I E. Well, I think she's not there as well. Uh, I'm sorry. Se cambia por la por Y o por la letra Y. Oh yes, yes. Thank you so much. Very good, Anna. Can you give me an example? Puedes darme un ejemplo de ese, de alguno de los verbos que vimos? With that rule, con esa regla. Un ejemplo sería, espérame. <laughs> Yo la anterior quería responder. Ah, <laughs> Un ejemplo podría ser, este, cuando decían, come, la palabra se la voy a deletrear, pero uh -huh. come, en español se la voy a <laughs> y dice, Ah, no, perdón, sería... Uh -huh. L I E Lie. No sé cómo Lie. Lie. Entonces allí se, se, se omite la I e y la E por la Y. Y Excellent. se le agrega ING. And we say lying. Okay, very good. Lie. What happened, Alba, if I have the or the formula um, vowel, consonant, vowel? Um, sería eh, cambiar la E por, por ING nada más. Excellent. Very good. So, uh, now guys, we are going to go to a practice um, that is going to be kind of a conversation. And we are going to also have some, um, like, let me see. All right. Some exercises. So, I'm going to share the screen with you. So you can take some notes. All right. Let me share. Okay, here 
this is part of your practice. So take a picture, screenshot, or you already know what we do, okay? And you let me know when you're done, please. Done. All right. And these are the conversations. So we have three conversations, okay? What I want you to do, guys, is that, si usted fue la primera persona y luego eh, intercambiar para decir la misma conversation two times, two veces, okay? Because you need to know a uh, like, the like to practice a little bit more, okay? Let me try to uh, make the pronunciation. In conversation number one, we have, where are you? I am working inside. I am writing a letter. Just let me, let me see, just give me a moment. Okay. I am writing a letter to my friend. I am telling him about my life and my new job. Are you using the computer? I am not using the computer because I have, I like, I'm sorry, to hand write letters. My hand is getting tired though, though, okay? Conversation number two. Where is Mary? Mary is cooking in the kitchen. She is chopping up some vegetables because she is making a vegetable soup. How is she making it? She is reading a receipt and following the instructions inside. She is enjoying herself. Conversation number three. What is Bob doing? Bob is working on his car. He is giving it a tune up. He is changing the oil and checking all the parts of the cars, but he is not working. He is just standing there. He is taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio as he works, all right? So guys, as I said, I need you to like to try to practice these conversations like two times each one. So we are 11 in general. So let me try to, okay. All right, let me see. Just give me a moment. All right, so I already created groups, guys, so please try to join them. And I will be checking all of you through the groups.
¿La tiene? Sí, ahorita. Mejor se la voy a enviar a, 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 a Teresita para que la comparta. Okay. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, eh, la cuestión es que yo no sé a dónde es que se me guardan mis screenshots, a menos que tú me lo envíes y no sé a dónde lo voy a... Tal vez al WhatsApp y ahí la imagen queda guardada en el chat del WhatsApp. Sí, porque yo solamente tengo una, no me percaté que eran dos. ¿Y cuál fue la segunda? La de la. Este... Voy a subir la que tengo y luego vemos ahí porque. Es cierto, es... podemos yeah. empezar a. Yeah. Voy a subir la que yo tengo porque hoy sí. 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 Listen, listen. Es así. Ajá, listening. Uh -huh. No se le duplica la. No, no se le duplica. Sí, sí. Solo la ING. Ajá. La cuarta, sí se le va a agregar la, la Y, ¿verdad? Ajá, es la que vimos el ejemplo, que se le quita Ajá. la ING. La ING. La ING. La, la swing, es la swing. Esa, swing. Esa, sí, se le duplica sí. la M. No, esa creo que es la excepción ¿Cómo? que dijo el teacher. Al no, igual que sí Open. Que no, esa sí se le duplica a la M. Se le duplica. Porque esa fue la que yo le pregunté a él. Ajá. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. La otra es Study. Study. Se quita la Y. Ajá. Y pone Study. Y en uh -huh. Ok. Happen. Esta igual, ¿verdad? Happening. Happening. Esa Pero sí. ING. Uh -huh. ING. Get. Esa se le no, duplica. Pero es que este es happening. Esa sí creo que se le duplica la E. She is shopping, shopping up some vegetables, no say, because she is marking um, vegetable shop. shop. Hot, hot is she mark making it. Uh, she is reading a race, race and following, following the instru instruction. And say she is enjoy, enjoying herself. Ay, qué, qué pena. Este sop es soup, es sopa. Sí, sí. correcto. Oh. Se dice sop, soup. 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 ¿Cuál vas a hacer vos? No sé, cualquiera. 
Ah, pues comienza. <laughs> okay. What is Bob doing? Bob. Not working. He is, uh, he is just studying there. He is taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio as he works. Okay. Ahora entre ustedes dos. Okay, ahora voy a hacer yo el hombre. About time. Uh, Bob is working on his car. He is giving it a tune up. He is sharing the oil and shaking all the parts of the car. But he is not working. He is just starting there. He is taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio as he works. Okay. okay. Empieza usted, Marisela. Okay. Where are you? Okay, guys. So how was the practice? We still have some people in those groups. Okay. So, so, teacher. So, so, why? Is it complicated? <laughs> mm, no, um, muy poco tiempo. <laughs> I know, I know that, I understand that, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, because you know, one hour, una hora, I guess is not enough, but we're trying to do our best. So, um, with what we know, guys, we are going to make this uh, 
como rifado, ¿verdad? So, Omar, give me a number from 1 to 11. Give me a number. Um, on number. Yes, give one, me eleven. one number. From eleven. 1 to 11, okay? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. Alba. Hello, Alba. Hello. Okay, so according to what we studied today, how would you change, como cambiarías, the sentence number one using the present continuous? Hmm. Uh, I study at the moment. Sería, I study at the moment. Cambiar la... la uh, la Y uh -huh. por el ING está bien. Uh -huh. uh -huh. it, like this, así, like that. Uh, está bien, pero... No. Es que no me recuerdo si se puede doblar la, la D ahí. Ok. So let me tell you that that is not correct. So the right sentence is I am, porque faltaba el verbo to be, que es muy importante. So, en este caso, chicos, no cambiamos la I por la I latina, la Y, I'm sorry. We do not change it. Es decir, solo le agregamos a la letra, después de la letra Y, ING. At oh. the moment. Okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Alba. Let's okay. see. Alba, give me a number from one to 10. Um, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Luis, tell me the answer for sentence number two. Okay. Um, I see. Podría decir, bueno, está en negativo. Ajá. Am not is sleep. No, I. Okay. I am not. Okay. Is sleeping. Uh huh. I'm okay. not. All right, like that. I am not sleeping. Very good. Now, Luis, give me a number from one to nine. Um, I'm, seven. I'm sorry, Anna, what, what did you say? In what? ese caso, sleep no se le agrega la, la otra P, la otra no. consonante. Porque no. ten, tenemos, Porque es dos, doble vocal. dos ah, tenemos okay. dos vocales antes. No cumple la regla de consonante, vocal. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. Okay. All right, so give me a number, Luis. Seven. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Nivia, number three. Um, your microphone. Se durmió sí. Nivia. <laughs> sí, perdón. <laughs> you are playing bad, bad Okay. Tonight. Like Your... Tonight. Tonight. Very good. Now give me a number from one to five. Mm, five. Five. And one, two, three, four, five. Omar, number four. Yo sí me estoy durmiendo. Ay, Omar. Despierte, ¿verdad? <laughs> Sí, venganza, ¿eh? ¿Verdad? <laughs> Entonces, the answer is we mm -hmm. are we are, we are we are in what? the moment. Seen in this moment. In this moment. Okay. Tú le agregaste un uh, time expression. That's very good. So, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you so much for your for your time today. 
nos tomamos más tiempo, ¿verdad? But I appreciate that you're still here. So I hope that you understood, que hayan entendido. If there's doubts, uh, would you like would you like me to send you the presentation of this day? Yes, teacher. All right, so I will send it to you after the class. So as I said, thank you so much for coming to the class today. See you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good night. Okay, okay good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, bye-bye.